Hey everybody, this is DJ Conscientious from ConscientiousSound.com and uh, today is going to be another installment of our video series of somewhat uh, how to do it yourself projects and first things first, I'm renaming the video series from behind the booth uh, instead to from the bench to the booth, okay, so from the workbench to the DJ booth. And today our project is going to be um, an idea that I got from DJ Mikey Mike. You may have seen him make um, vertical mirror ball motor uh, from the uh, American DJ DMX uh, ceiling mount motor. Okay, so he made some altercations to it so that it could sit on top of a truss and make it very easy to carry your uh, mirror balls around to your parties set them up and get the same effect without as much trouble as hanging it from the ceiling. So today um, I think I'm going to show you an easier way to do it and a cheaper way to do it. So hey, that's not bad. So let's go. Alright, so here we are at the bench. We're going from the bench to the booth. And uh, as I told you, we're, we're doing a project for a vertical mirror ball motor. So the first thing we need is the motor. What I chose to go with was a rotisserie motor for your barbecue grill. So as you can see, it's a 40 pound rotisserie motor. So our mirror balls are not wearing anywhere close to 40 pounds. You got a 40 pound mirror ball or something wrong. This has been partially disassembled because I filmed this video and then lost all the files. So we're gonna kind of go in reverse. I'm gonna show you basically what we did. So this, this is the casing for the rotisserie motor. You know, it will mount on your barbecue like this and your rotisserie, um, you know, spike or whatever would go in like this and would turn your meat on your grill. So my idea was that somehow we need to mount this motor upright so that our mirror ball shaft can mount like this. Now mind you, this these won't be DMX controlled like the ones that Mikey Mike did. Um, personally, I don't need a need for DMX mirror mirror balls. Um, I have all my other stuff is DMX, but I just need my mirror balls to rotate. So I ordered a, a project case from MCM Electronics. I love MCM Electronics. Um, so this is basically a little case, a project case for you to build whatever you want to build. Slides open like that. Comes with some little screws for um, securing the sides. All right. So, what you would do is you would get your rotisserie motor. You have a screw down here in the bottom. The top just snaps in, and you take it apart. Once you take it apart, you're gonna have a motor like this. Okay. So this motor basically fit inside the uh, case like that. See that? All right. So basically what I did was use these holes as a template on my project case. This one's painted black. Okay. It's the same piece right here. All right, drill your little holes. Um, I took a metal cutting wheel and cut some vents in here for the, for the motor. Because of course on the original case they had vents for the motor, so we want to keep that running cool. Um, I put a bolt through the opening for the shaft, and we put a threaded coupler right here so that we can screw our shaft onto this when we get ready to install the mirror ball. Okay. Um, you cut a little hole right here for your, your wire to go through into your case. All right. I'll put this back together. All right, so there we go. Nice looking case. Very clean. Got a power cord here. 
right? So next we're gonna um, change out the shaft for my mirror ball. I've already done one. So we'll move on to that step now. Okay, so here's a mirror ball. Um, so I'm gonna take the shaft out here. Take this little ring off, it's like a little key ring. And um, the reason we're taking the shaft out on, on Mikey Mike's video, he upgraded his shaft to a thicker one. But the the mount on our motor, um, we couldn't go up to a bigger bigger thread rod because um, the hole was only big enough for a five sixteenth rod which is the same as this except this is a metric size you know these come from China so this is a metric size and this is a standard size so this wouldn't screw directly into our rod coupling so we're gonna switch this out and also um, since we're turning our mirror ball up you know vertical we're gonna change this plate out to a bigger one because the weight is going to be um, you know resting on this the mirror ball shaft has this kind of spiked base on the other end and um, you know that's okay if your ball is hanging vertical I mean uh, from the ceiling but since we're turning it around we're gonna put a wider washer on there to give it more support so uh, I had to take some of these little mirrors off It's just a big styrofoam ball with mirror stuck on it if you've never <laughs> played with one. So, you can stick these back on. Alright, so there's your rod, just like our other one. new rod so up here we got a rod I'm gonna switch this out I don't have any um, nylon nuts right now so I'm just using this for the time being but that's what I will put on the end nylon nut that'll stay much more secure but for video purposes right now we'll just go with what we have alright so there we go so that's pretty much it. This is going to screw down into our motor. So let's move on to that step. Okay, so we got our mirror balls mounted, vertically mounted on our new motors. Very clean, very, very nice look. Uh, let me plug them in so you can check them out. I mounted one of the motors um, backwards so to have the mirror balls rotate in opposite directions. That was my personal preference. So cost wise, each one of these motors may be $40. Um, the cases from MCM about maybe $10 each. And then your simple hardware for the shaft, threaded rod from Home Depot, a couple of bucks. So for the price of one American DJ DMX motor, which is about $129 without the modifications. You got two simple motors, very easy to make for about the same price of one. So there you go. From the bench to the booth, DJ Country Inches, countryinchesound.com. We'll see you next time.